Yes, that longing is an expression of your freedom. It's because you are free that, 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 that you long for happiness. You, 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 our love of freedom, our love of happiness and freedom comes from our deep intuition that everybody has, this intuition that lives in the heart of everybody. Happiness is my birthright. Freedom is my birthright. I shouldn't have to earn my freedom. I shouldn't have to earn happiness. It, it, it's, it's my birthright. Everybody feels that. That's why people love, that's why everybody loves freedom. That's why everybody loves happiness. Would it be possible not to love happiness? No, it's not possible. Everybody, all seven billion of us, love happiness above all else. Why? How come? It's because deep in everybody's heart there lives the memory of happiness. When I say memory, I don't mean the memory from the past, although we often conceive of it in those terms. It's, it's a memory of something that actually lives at the center of ourself, at the depths of ourself, in the depths of our being. We know there is happiness. Otherwise, we wouldn't know what to long for. Somehow the taste of happiness remains, even in, the, in our darkest feelings, in the deepest depression, we still long for happiness. That feeling, that comes from your freedom. That the freedom, that, 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 that you know, I can be happy. Happiness is within my possibility the moment it feels within reach yes and when i'm meditating this anxiety comes up and it feels so far away no but that's very good if you're when you're meditating this anxiety comes up because normally it's interesting that you said as soon as i sit down to meditate the anxiety comes up no, not, not the moment that i start meditating or, or during the meditation but during the meditation Perfect. The that's, moment that's very good it's very good why doesn't it happen the rest of the time because during the the day under your normal activities, you successfully avoid feeling the discomfort of that anxiety by focusing on objects. You keep yourself busy enough during the day to keep this uncomfortable feeling in here at bay. So you think it's not there. Actually it is, it's just hiding because below the threshold of, of, the, of the mind. As soon as you stop, as soon as you withdraw your attention from objects, you, you sit quietly in this meditation, you expect it's all going to be peace and happiness. What happens? The opposite happens. All this anxiety comes up, which is a very good thing, because it's, it, what was actually, what you were avoiding during the rest of the time is actually now coming to the surface, and it has to come to the surface. In order for you to see what's underneath the anxiety, it has to come up into the light of awareness. So it, it's very good. The important thing when you feel that anxiety is not to do what thought is telling you to do, which is to get up and make yourself some tea and, and try and avoid the anxiety in one way or another. No, feel it, face it. Because at the heart of that anxiety is the illusory self. Because it feels that way. Yes. Mo it's the anxiety that you will... Yes, the anxiety I... is just your particular way of feeling the, 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 the wound of separation, the separate self. It's just your particular form of the separate self in that moment. So don't so totally allow the anxiety, just like you allow the sounds and the... Totally allow it, but don't touch it. Don't do anything to it. Don't either try to... Don't try to repress it, don't try to express it, don't try to get rid of it, don't try to change it, don't do anything to it. You treat it like you si treat the sound of the, the airplane. In other words, don't treat it, don't, don't touch it. Yeah? But y y y y what, what you're interested in is what you really are. Because at the source, at the heart of the anxiety is the self that you are not. The, the remedy for the anxiety is not to get busy getting rid of that s self that you are not. That just perpetuates it. The remedy for the anxiety is to discover what you truly are. 
then you'll just forget about your anxiety. You'll, you'll, you'll notice one day, oh, I haven't been anxious for three months. What, where did it go? When did it go? You, it, it'll leave you as, as a byproduct, as, as, a, as a side effect of your knowing your own being as it is. So if, if the anxiety comes up, Notice the impulse to avoid it through thinking. When you're meditating, of course, you probably won't let yourself go for an object or a substance. So thinking is the way we usually avoid it. You suddenly get busy thinking. What's the purpose of thinking during meditation? Precisely to avoid these uncomfortable feelings. So be courageous. Don't wander off into the past or the future. Let the anxiety, let, let it display itself. Let it come up completely. But what you're interested in is yourself not the anxiety don't don't be don't be fooled by the anxiety don't get interested in it give your attention to yourself you cannot give your attention to yourself in the same way that the sun cannot shine on itself in other words give your attention to yourself is a synonym for be knowingly the presence of the unagitated presence of awareness be that knowingly Stand as that. Abide as that. And not doing that. It's not doing. Yeah. You, you, the, sun, the sun doesn't. The sun doesn't shine on. The sun doesn't have to do something to shine on itself. Its nature is shining, is light. Just by being itself, it illuminates itself. So yeah, because I feel the tempting to to do that in order to avoid. You understand. Yeah. So. Being the presence of awareness is not something that is dependent upon what the mind either does do or doesn't do. You are always only the presence of awareness. You have never for a moment been anything else, nor could you ever be anything else. You don't have to maintain being awareness or being aware. It, it's your natural state. It, it's... It's more natural to you than breathing. Even breathing requires a little bit of effort, a little contraction of some muscles, and thinking, being anxious, all these things. Everything apart from being aware requires some kind of subtle effort, more or less subtle effort. So meditation is, is easier than easy. It's true meditation, what I call meditation, which is to be knowingly this ever-present, unlimited awareness is it's easier than breathing it, it, it's why it, it's what is referred to in the Ashtavakra Gita when it says something like this for, for the sage and understand for the sage they're not he's not referring to a person he's referring to pure awareness for the sage even blinking is too much trouble it's too much effort to be aware requires less effort than blinking. What requires an effort is to struggle with your anxiety. To try to change it, to try and get rid of it, to try and make it better, to try and make it go away. These are all ways that the separate self perpetuates itself. By trying to get rid of itself. That that's in the spiritual in spiritual circles it's the most common way the separate self perpetuates itself is by trying to get rid of itself. 